Mount Aleph community is still using a dangerous wooden bridge to cross the river. It was built by a local church in 2001 to provide temporary relief to the cut-off residents. But the bridge has since fallen into disrepair, St. Andrew says. It supports the community's cause for a safer river crossing. ENCA senior reporter Desen Thafia filed this report. By now, many people are familiar with the wooden bridge that is erected near Mount Aleph. And this is because of a viral video that was released recently showing mourners carrying a coffin across the dangerous structure. But if one were to look at the origins of that bridge, it was never intended to be a permanent solution in the first place. Now, I'm going to be joined by Mfundisi Mpilisi Kapa. He's with the St. Andrew's Church. Mfundisi, thank you so much for, for joining me. I understand that your church was responsible for assisting with the building of that bridge in the first place. How did that come to be? Yes, I think uh, at about 2001 to 2003, um, under the, the leadership of um, the late Bishop um, Lebo, there was a link diocese of Toro. And when they visited our diocese, they also visited the parish of, of, of St. Andrews. And they found that there was a dangerous crossing um, at Umzimvubu. And then they tried to improve it or to, to substitute it by building uh, a temple bridge so that people can cross over to and from the, the, these areas. Because We've got also some schools on the other side and also um, some congregations and also these schools even to the other side. So to make it easy for them to cross over, they try to improve or to substitute that, that bridge with the temple bridge, which was built by a team from, from the Dust of Toro in England. Over the years, because the bridge has been used so regularly, uh, it was obvious that it was going to deteriorate over some time. Who has been maintaining the bridge until now? Actually, I can find that there's no one who maintaining the bridge except that the ordinary, ordinary people. When they see that something is, is, is need to be done, they do it themselves. Actually, there was no one else who was just maintaining it. At the time that the, the church and the ordinary residents had constructed the bridge, what was the, what was the hope that you had uh, in terms of how long it needed to be used before a permanent solution was offered by government? Yeah, although I was not the rector here at that time, the rector here at that time was Reverend Nongnaya uh, Banjej, a woman priest, or the first a rector of this parish who was here. According to her also and her reports, there, there was no other plan, but the plan was that the Dust of Toro must leave something here to make sure that, that they will try to improve the lives of the people in these diocese or in this they are linked houses with our, our, our houses. So they make sure that they, they do this bridge for, for, for other peoples. Now that we are seeing this, this video and we've, we've seen people carrying coffins across, and it's, it's obviously become dangerous now where some of the pieces of wood are missing. Is the church also going to be, for example, backing up the community in its calls to get a permanent structure? Um, from government. Have you been involved in any of those calls? Now, the church is, a, is also a stakeholder, or it was also composed of stakeholders. It, it, it is supposed also to be part of, of the, the, the discussions of improve, or even of, of, of see, making some, some, some applications or, or working with counsellors to make sure that uh, this place is being de de developed, uh, especially now that last week we've got two funerals and, uh, and the people were really waiting for the coffins there and, and about two people were supposed to, 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 to carry it for, 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 I mean, to make sure that, 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 that the, 
they, 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 there's no hazard, but people, they, they tried. So now it, it, it really challenges the, the church to make sure that they, we also take part in, in the community uh, discussions in, in terms of the transformation is concerned. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time, Fundisi. I appreciate it. The good news for residents, at least, is that uh, there are signs of some work being done. We did see teams of engineers down near the Mzimbubu River, and they were inspecting the current structure that had been put up by the provincial government in about 2003. And the understanding is that they are now assessing the area to establish what can be a more permanent solution for residents here. I'm Jason Tathia in Mount Adolf, Eastern Cape.